Howdy folks, Trey Ford here with Bug Crowd. I've got Matt Held with me. We're here to talk about uh, the CVE 2025. Gosh, I hate to give you a code 55182, but this is the React Server Component CVS, or sorry, CVE 10 vulnerability. Uh, before I get started, I want to remind you all that we will have a linked blog post tracking what's going on with this vulnerability. We'll be updated as we find things and uh, we do have a lot of research coming in the door. Let's talk about what we know so far. So this is a perfect 10 CVE. What does that mean? Of course, it's the end of the world. Dogs and cats sleeping together. Worst parts of the Bible. Not really. However, this is your textbook case where you're looking at a pre-authentication, anyone interacting with your application can, in theory or in reality, um, perform remote code execution. Like this is, they've got hands on keyboard, can run commands from the context of the server. Now, in terms of blast radius, uh, in discussion, we're going to say conservatively, 5% of the internet, probably more, is going to be vulnerable. This isn't to the scale of Log4j, but this does have both the impact and the breadth where we need to pause. And uh, if you've got an SBOM, dig in. <laughs> Get across your software bill of materials. You should have a dependency inventory. You should know what libraries and platforms are in use. So if you're a Java shop, go dig into this. Um, I'm going to pause here and state that there are no proof of concept exploits that are fully functional as of this recording. That statement is not going to last. There's a race that's happening both by the research community for proof of concepts and of course by the threat actors that are looking to take advantage of this vulnerability. So stop what you're doing, <laughs> go dig in and uh, let's start getting patched. Let's discuss the vulnerability. Uh, Matt React 19.00 is currently vulnerable to RC. Talk to me about the vulnerability. Yeah, uh, thanks, Trey. So what is this all about? Like you said, it's a pre-alv or RCE. So basically everybody can see everything that your public have and you have uh, you have React 19.0. You're vulnerable to this. And uh, most likely it's going to be a very, very easy to exploit uh, POC, weaponized POC. There are some uh, POCs for just detection, right? And uh, you can get that already on GitHub and stuff like that, but they're not weaponized ones. But it's going to be yeah, a couple of minutes, I guess. <laughs> Maybe even when this recording is out. If it's happening so, in real time, for sure. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, and it exposes the fact that the React server components uh, and server actions are effectively an RPC layer. Right, React is never built an RPC layer, but um, and that's the problem here because the usual safeguards that mature RPC systems RPC systems use are not in play here, because it trusts client input. As we all know, this is always very good to trust what the user is putting in. Uh, so it <laughs> it comes from uh, deserializing untrusted RSC flight payloads. And it goes directly into the module exports metadata name. So it's letting the client influence which server exports get invoked with almost zero validation. So thumbs up, uh, this is gonna be a fun one. And you can patch this just by upgrading, right? Uh, all patches have been released, just do it. We don't know if there's gonna be a <laughs> kind of a lock for j run to uh, yeah, disable everything or use different payloads, trying to do Unicode stuff, uh, trying to encode stuff. We don't know yet. Might be, it might get, it because it's not done on runtime, uh, web application firewalls are doing a pretty good job here. Um, so if you have one, also activate it. But what you just said, Trey, patch your stuff. Put down whatever you're doing, get a, <laughs> drink your cold coffee later. And yeah, and you can also patch this manually with uh, checks like has own property, which is built in React and a tighter deserializer, but who's gonna do that if there's a patch available? Because the deeper issue here is a design that basically relies on the magic bundler uh, discovery than the explicit schemas and service definitions like gRPC or God forbid, so. So, uh, <laughs> so unless React treats this as a, proper RPC boundary, right? And hardens it accordingly later on. This is very unlikely in our opinion to be the last serious security issue in this area. So let me be very clear here. It's, it's not a dig on React. It's just right now how it's built. It, it's trying to solve a problem category that traditionally requires very explicitness, not only magic. So 
within React, there's an, an internal action map and the use server directive. So it's not literally whatever the bundler can see forever is going to be fixed. So yeah, let me uh, repeat, patch your stuff. So <laughs> yeah, what, what this bug essentially shows is it breaks the illusion of uh, that map that we have built being a hard boundary for something because the deserializer trusted too much client metadata and in this case just client stuff that could be uh, could be uh, yeah fed to so it was always a good idea to make the front end and javascript the back end so <laughs> here we are folks here we are <laughs> i think it's important that this underscores uh, one of the challenges in modern web development so back in the day we used to manage strictly our application and worry about database calls in the back end now we have to worry about the expansion of capabilities within frameworks while we're managing down into our IaaS and PaaS layers where vulnerabilities, new surface area, new capabilities could create vulnerabilities underneath us, as well as these front end changes. So I think this is a real important point to pause and remind when we talk to the executive team, when we talk to the board, there are moving pieces both above us and below us in our infrastructure and then changes in the context of how these applications function. So what should security teams be doing next? What are the next steps? First, I'm going to make the S-bomb joke again. If you don't have a software bill of materials, maybe this is an early Christmas gift. It is holiday season. I'll remind you that uh, BugCrowd did pick up. Uh, we've acquired and are integrating Mayhem. They do have an S-bomb capability worth a conversation. Set that aside. If you don't have one today, put that in your budget. This is a textbook example of why you need an S-bomb. If you don't have that inventory, go talk to your architects, go talk to your devs, go find out where all you're running React so you can get to work on this. Patch your stuff. Number two, look for incremental patches. Matt mentioned a uh, reference back to log4j. A one-shot wonder perfect fix is a very rare and special unicorn appearance. It's very often that there will be a patch, an incremental patch, an incremental patch. It's not just for bypassing filters or other things. There may be fixes that break things. So pay attention, be prepared for multiple iterative patch cycles. And then reminder again on priority. This is the arms race. We're, we're racing not only as researchers and defenders against the threat actor community, but we know that there's vulnerable real estate. There's a lot of it. And uh, they're racing against us, finding and patching as quickly as possible. Finally, watch our blog post. We're going to keep this up to date. So fresh information will be flowing from the Bug Crowd blog. Matt, any parting shots? Yeah, so uh, one last thing, when you are when you have an S-bomb, or even if you don't, if you talk to your architects and stuff like that, look not only for the main React Server components ver versions, look for DOM Webpack, DOM Parcel, Turbo Pack, Router, and all the packages that have this vulnerability. There's a great blog post by React itself, what you should be looking for, um, because it not only impacts one component, it impacts multiple ones. Um, so... Yeah, be thorough as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, Matt, thanks for staying up late. And folks, thanks for tuning in for uh, Security Flash here with Bug Crowd.